Okay, for you that have wanted to experiment with the colors of the World Crayola pencils, I have grabbed um, this book by Hannah Lynn, and it is just a very basic, easy coloring that has people, and that's what I wanted for this. So I am going to set myself down. So I forget exactly who it was that wanted me to do people. Um, I think it was Gladys, but maybe not. So anyway, whoever that was, we're going to do some people with these pencils. All right. First of all, I did do some swatches of each color. So, and you can see I put those in the wrong order. But anyway, just some very basic swatches. These are current at my Walmart, so hopefully they're current for you too. So what I do is I can look at these swatches and I can think, okay, for instance, Red Riding Hood. We know she's a younger girl, so she might have lighter skin, but at the same time, she's also out and about a lot, so she might have the more medium colored skin. So I'm going to go with this one. And the thing you can remember when you're coloring is you can mix these back and forth, but this just shows you the color order that they're made in. If you want darker skin, you can use just the darker shades. If you want light, go to the lighter shades. You can mix and match and everything. So I am actually, and I'm actually going to use some of these pinks in this one. So let's get started. And I always forget to bring back an eraser. So let's just grab one from over here. Now, the reason for the eraser is the way I do cheeks, the little blush on the cheeks. I am going to go in to, I'm going to go with the darker one, okay? So that is going to be medium deep rose. And I am going to put her cheeks in. Now, as I do this, I am going to go ahead and color this pretty deep. You see there? And then fade it out. All right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay out of the view of the camera because that's something that irritates me when I watch videos of people painting or scrapbooking or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to be pretty firm at first and then lighter as I come out. Now, you can color right over the top of this but what I've gotten in the habit of doing is erasing it because this is going to stain my paper. Okay? So now I'm going to erase. And it has left my paper stained pink. Can you see that from where you are? All right, pink stained paper. That's it. Now it's not very dark, and that's why I went with my darkest pink. I may have to come back in in a little bit with that color again and um, go back over it. We will see. We will see how it goes. So let's go on to my browns. I'm going to do the lightest area over here. This is what the light's hitting. This over here is where the cloak is folded over. Okay, 
So I'm going to grab, let's grab this one. So that is the second shade that is light golden. All right. And I'm just going to come in here and do the light golden. Just getting that color on here. Okay. And up in here. I am going to go over those eyelashes. You can always go back over those with black pencil or a black marker or whatever you choose to go over. There's plenty of tooth in this paper, so I'm just going to do the whole thing. Okay? Then I'm going to come in next with the next shade, which is light medium golden. And I'm going to start blending into what I just did. So I'm going to go around the edges and then fade into it around her cheekbones and the side of her face would be a little bit darker than the rest of it because that is where her shadow is going to fall from her hair and her cloak etc so I'm going to go around that part then up from her nose it's going to be just a little bit lighter up here, or darker rather, up here on the bridge of the nose. And I just do a little bit on this side. And then on this side, it's going to be even a little bit darker. Because it's in that shadow area. Okay. Remember? This portion over here is going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to come in with this color now and I'm going to go right over the cheeks because I know I'm going to bring another shade in that's even darker. But I want this side of her face a little bit darker. So I'm just going to bring that in. And really, the thing that these pencils do for you is they show you already what colors go in what order. What is going to be your darker and your lighter and all of that. Okay, so that's, that's the plus on the pencils. Okay, all up in there. I am going to come back with the lighter shade at the end and blend everything, so don't, don't fret over that. I am next going to take my medium golden, and I am still going to come over here and deepen this. Now, it's going to be the same technique with all these pencils with all the different shades. Okay, so no matter which shade you use, if you're doing a face, I would still say do the same thing. See how we've made it darker up along the cloak and hairline area because everything is hanging over that. Now this time as I color all through here, I'm not going to go out as far as I did the first time. In fact, I will probably keep it like to right back here. Okay. And then slowly fade into what we did the time before. Then I'm going to get the next shade, which is medium deep golden. And I'm going to come up here and do this 
innermost area that's hiding right under the edge of her cloak. Same thing, get it in up here, up here at the top. Maybe over here just a little bit, just to kind of help bring the eye around. Okay? Is that making sense to you? I hope so. All right, then I'm gonna go one more darker. This is the deep golden. And I'm gonna really, really bear down and get that dark. And see, I didn't go out very far with those colors. I kept them just really right there in those three spots, just right where they're really tucked up underneath. Okay, I am going to come back now with um, one of my reds, not red, pink. So I am coming in with the, I'm going to do the medium dark rose. Is that it? Yeah, medium deep rose. And I'm going to come back in and pink up her cheek a little. Just because I've put so many layers on that the pinkness is gone. Now I'm going to get lighter and lighter as I come out. Because I still just want that hint of pink on her cheek. Same thing over here. Now, did you notice I was holding like this? I scooched back on my pencil some, so I'm not putting as much pressure on the paper. And you might find with whatever skin tone you're doing that um, maybe you're going light enough that you don't have to go back and do the pink again. There's a lot of times when I'm using like my Prismacolors depending on what paper I'm on, that it might really stain it and that I really don't need to come back and do a lot to it. Now I'm gonna come in with this rose color. This is dark rose. Actually, it's called deep rose. And I'm gonna go right up here. And it doesn't really look real pink. It was just enough to just add just a little bit in there, okay? Now I'm going to come with my lightest shade once again and just finish blending all of this out. This is that lightest shade, the light golden. Oh, it's light golden, not very light golden. So that's all right, light golden. But I'm using this as a blender to blend those colors. And you can see it is blending pretty good, even though these are just Crayola. The thing here is Crayola has given you different shades of browns and the pinks so that you can be set up with your colors and not really have to go and hunt and figure out what colors could go good next to each other. There's a lot of tooth in this paper, so I'm really trying to work that tooth out. Hopefully this has helped some. Um, I guess I can try to do another one just in case. Now the other place I would put a little bit of dark. Let me grab, what color is this? This is medium golden. The other place I would put color is right down here. See just by doing that line how she now has a chin. Okay, and then if I go right under this, it pops her nose just a bit because she doesn't really have a nose nose. 
like we would expect. But I can draw that in. All right. So you can doodle with these, you know, however much you want. It's going to depend on how much is actually drawn in the picture that you're doing and how much you're having to add. But anyway, there is that one. Um, so hopefully that has helped. And again, just keep playing with the colors. Um, when you're doing a page and you've done a face, don't forget to look at the rest of the page and say, okay, are there fingers sticking out anywhere? Is there a hand? Here's an arm right here. So while I've got my pencils pulled, I should do that. And you know what? Our arms are usually just a little bit darker than our face. So I'm going to pull my light medium golden. And I'm going to come through here and do her arm. Plus, her arm is down where it's more shaded. So it would appear a little darker. Now I'm still going to come back in my lighter shade over the top just to help blend that. Remember, I usually use same color or something lighter when I'm blending so that I'm not just moving the pencil that's already there around on the page, but still adding more color. Now, notice I didn't go all the way to the bottom. That's because when you go further down, and I'm going to grab medium golden, it's going to be a little darker. All right. And I didn't do a lot, just a little. And then fading out as I come up. Same thing here, little bits of shadows. Okay. So then look and see, okay, is there anything else? And that's the only thing I'm seeing. So just make sure that when you do a face or a body or something that you're getting the whole thing. Now we've done some with those pencils. Um, let's look real quick. Oh, and see, in these books there's two of every page and you can see how I did her a lot more light complected. And these were with, um, I don't even know what brand, sorry. See, and I would do her, you'd think a little darker because she's in the sun all the time. And there, there's one I've already done with her. Okay. Can't get hold of the pages. Nope, didn't do her. The children, did I do that one? I did. And see, I did them a little lighter because they are children. I could have deepened that up. So, yeah, I'm not sure what all is and is not done in this book. Here's one I did some time back. And um, I want to say I used Prismacolor. Let's go ahead and do that one real quick. Let's grab some darker shades. So I am going to grab this time the Almond series. Okay. Let's just grab the Almond. And I am going to get, I'm just picking some pencils real quick. I am going to start with the Deep Almond. I wonder if that's going to be too dark. Let me start with medium almond. Okay, that's going to be this one right here. So I'm going to, and I'm not even going to do the cheeks first because we already know that with this paper, it didn't make that much difference. So I'm going to lay down my layer. Get all of this laid down. I'm not too worried about going over all that jewelry because I know when I come back to do the jewelry, I'm going to be using glitter gel pens and it will just cover up any of this pencil. 
All right, so I've gone over once. Then I'm going to pick the next shade is medium deep almond. So I'm going to come and look, okay, what is where? Now this time she's straight on, so I'm going to be a little darker on both sides. And that chin, so that it looks like it's a little rounded underneath. Fade out as you come in. Right under that bottom lip under the nose, maybe up one side for the nose. Let's come up around the hairline, because remember that's where that shadow's cast. And yes, I am going pretty quick because I'm trying to get two pages done during this time period. Okay, so next I am going to go to Deep Almond. Now I'm going to go just right where there would be some specific shadows. A little bit darker on the sides. Let's face it, she is a princess, but she's outside a bit. So she would be a bit darker. Okay. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and pick the darkest. Actually, I'm not going to go the very darkest. I'm going to go very deep almond. I'm not going to go the absolute darkest. But right there. And then down here. Up around this hairline because that's what would be in the shadows. And you can see I'm not being overly careful. I am going to come back in again with my medium deep rose, and I am going to go ahead and give her some pink cheeks. I think our princesses should all be happy and have deep pink cheeks. <laughs> yeah, this one I should have done a little better. I didn't do very well blending that out. My pencil actually had something scratchy on it and therefore scratched into my paper a bit. Then I'm going to come back with the lightest shade that I've used, my medium almond. And I'm going to, actually, do I want to come back with that? I'm going to, yeah, I am. It's going to look like a darker color, but it really is the lightest shade that I used earlier. So you should be able to tell a little bit of difference as I'm blending these. I could have come back with a lighter shade. So you decide, you know, when you're doing something like this, do you want to come back with a lighter shade or with the same shade you were using? And you can see here, see the lines there? The paper is being a little streaky for me on this one. So it's the nature of Crayola and the nature of the paper too, admittedly. But you can see, even as dark as I'm going on her skin, she still has the darker parts up around the edges of her face, down at the base of the chin, and I'm still just trying to blend. So... I don't know if it's my coloring, if it's because I'm in a hurry trying to get two pages done for you, or if it's the colors, the nature of the beast, 
you know, different colors have different amounts of pigment, of color, which makes some colors actually softer than others. So it could be that. But not all colors are the same. Even when you do a softer pencil, like a polychromo or a um, Prismacolor, depending on how much pigment is in a color, some pencil colors are just going to be softer than others. Okay? So there she is. And then I would come down and also do her hand. Remember, we said we were going to look for other parts. So I'm going to just get her hand done. And I think that's the only other thing in here. I will go just a little deeper down here because it's a V. We talked about those V's and that back finger. There you go. So you can see even with the darker, that it's still doable, okay? So um, Crayola pencils, yes, in the fact that they help you to pick out your lights to darks, it's good. If you already like Crayola, I think you're gonna like these. If you're used to Prismacolor or something softer, then I think you might not be as happy with these. But you can tell, you know, whatever you're coloring, it's certainly doable. All right? So have fun. Um, I will be back in a few days with something else. Leave me comments. What would you like to see me try to color if I've got it? And um, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.